so my dear students welcome today we are going to look at this question it says make x the subject of the formula in ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero this is uh, actually a quadratic equation so we need to use completing square method to make x the subject or x should be written in terms of a b and c therefore we are going to re make sure that when using completing square method we divide this value by a such that we make the coefficient of x squared to be 1 so this will be x squared plus b over a x plus c over a will be equal to 0 we can actually rewrite it as x squared plus b over a x then plus what must be added to make it a perfect square so let me take c over a to the right hand side to become minus c over a so whatever must be added here to make it complete i mean perfect square must also be added to the right hand side and the value that should be added is a half the coefficient of x squared a half the coefficient of x squared so that will be a half of b by which will be b over 2a we square it the same will be added to the right hand side then from there this now to the left hand side of this equation it can actually be written as x plus b over 2a into bracket we square it now we have written it as a perfect square will be equal to minus c over a plus let us square this value so we have b squared all over 2 squared will be 4 and a squared will be a squared then from this point we need to simplify the right hand side so let me rewrite the left hand side as x plus b over 2a we square it will be equal to the LCM of a and 4a squared is 4a squared so 4a squared divided by a that is 4a multiplied by c that is minus 4ac then plus 4a squared divided by 4a squared that is 1 plus multiplied by b squared will be b squared therefore we end up getting x plus b over 2a squared will be equal to rearrange these values so we have b squared minus 4ac all over 4a squared we need to to find square root on both sides therefore Therefore, we shall have x plus b over 2a is equal to plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 4a squared. So, from here, we have x take b over 2a to the right hand side will be equal to minus b over 2a plus or minus so here the numerator part will be root b squared minus 4ac all over the square root of 4a squared it is 2a since in this fraction we have two common that we can rewrite them under the same denominator and this will be so the denominator is 
that is LCM is 2A. 2A divided by 2A is 1 multiplied by minus B, we get minus B. Then plus or minus 2A divided by 2A, that is 1 multiplied by numerator value B square root of B squared minus 4AC. Therefore, x would be equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And that is the way to go about it, making x the subject of the formula. So, and actually this is referred to as quadratic formula, quadratic formula, and it is very useful in solving quadratic equation. So that's how we make x the subject of the formula in the quadratic equation.